In a previous project, I showed how to create a simple CD manager, something that maintains a list of the CDs in my collection. Now, I did that by creating CDs as records that contained data fields for name, artist, price, and CD label. Here, I want to show how to do the same thing using classes. A class defines an object. You can create one type definition for a class and many objects based on that class definition. This project, it's just called Objects, is about as simple as you can get to explore the fundamental features of object orientation in Object Pascal. So I'm not doing any anything clever with class hierarchies and I'm not adding any methods, any built-in functions and procedures into the class. All I'm doing is recreating the simple list management tool that I created earlier using records, but this time I'm using classes to define objects. So you can see, as before, my CD class is very similar to the CD record. It contains the four data fields, and three of them are fixed-length strings, the type that I've declared up here, and one of them is a double, that's the price. I've just cheated, really, to create the objects themselves. Normally, if you were doing a database, you'd have a data entry form and you'd enter the objects one by one. But I want to initialize 10 objects right away at the start of this program. So I've created two arrays, one of which is an array of my fixed length strings and one of which is an array of uh, double. These are the, the two types of array. And then I've created four actual arrays, and these are done using a technique which I explained earlier, whereby if you declare the arrays in the constant section, even though they're not really constants, you can fill the arrays, you can assign values to each slot in the array, all in one go at the time of declaration. So my name array, my artist array, my price array, and my label array have been declared as one to array size, that's one to ten, of, and then I fill them with strings and double values. To create my objects, I've created an ob array, which is an array, again, of the same size, one to array size, of cdob. cdob, remember, is the class that I've defined for creating these objects. When the form is created, I set up a simple for loop. It counts from one to array size. I'm using that array size constant again to make sure I'm dealing with the right number of items. And I just create CD objects on each turn through the for loop. And I fill the objects, I assign the fields of the object by iterating through the name array, the artist array, the price array, and the label array, getting out those items at each index of the arrays and assigning them to the name artist price and CD label of the individual CD object. OK, so I don't really want to spend too long going over that, you can see fairly easily when you look at the code how I've iterated th through the arrays to extract the strings and doubles and assign them as fields. Then I've just got this simple show obs button click method and that just does another for loop and once I've got my ob array filled with objects it just displays the data of each CD object by accessing the fields with the dot notation. And on form close, I simply free up the objects. And this is all explained in more de detail in the little book of Pascal. But the important bit that I want to look at here is how objects are created. With a record, I can just declare a record variable and immediately start assigning data to it. With an object, I have to be a bit more careful. I first have to create an object. An object doesn't exist. It is not available for me to deal with in my code until I specifically create it. Create is called its constructor. It's what sets aside memory for an individual object, and it may do other things which you look at later in the course. But for now, I'm just calling a standard create constructor, and that creates a new CD object. Only once I've done that can I start assigning data to its fields now, one of the things you need to bear in mind here is that I have to call create, that's the constructor method, I have to call it following the name of the class, that's cdob, that's the class name. Remember, that's how I declared the class up here. It's the name of the class, not of an individual object that was created from that class. And that's very, very important to remember because create 
cannot be called on a CD object until that object has been created. Well, the object does not exist until after it has been created. So here I'm in the process of creating it. So I can't call create on CD create. Let's see what happens if I try to do that. So CD is the object, not the class. CD create. Well, syntactically, it's correct. Delphi even provides me with the code completion list so that I can fill it in. Here, by the way, I'm using Delphi. The same process could be done in Lazarus. So syntactically, it makes sense. It's OK in terms of Pascal syntax, and it allows me to do it. But remember, until creators executed, the CD object, even though I've declared it as a variable, it doesn't actually exist. I can't use it. So what happens when I try to run this program? What happens is this. I immediately get an access violation. So that's because I have called it on CD create. Let's, I can try assigning it in that way. Again, that's valid Pascal syntax. Let, so let's try this. Once again, it compiles. Once again, no, it doesn't really doesn't like that. So let's get rid of it. So what happens if I don't call the constructor at all? So this time, I don't make any attempt at all to call the constructor. So in effect, I'm treating the object, the CD ob type CD, as though it were a record, because that would be perfectly correct with a record. I could just start assigning data to a record variable without having any need to create that object first. But with a real object, with something that's based on a class definition, I can't do that. So I run the program. And again, I get this access violation. So this shows that you really must pay very close attention to the way that you call a constructor. It's absolutely necessary when you are dealing with objects rather than with records.